Ken of Newcastle. At ringside, of course, Harry. Yeah. Well, here's another appearance of the former World Worldweight Champion, Lloyd Hunnigan, back in the ring only three weeks after celebrating his 32nd birthday at the Wembley Arena when he outpointed Mexican Alfredo Ramirez. Now he's got a domestic opponent tonight, Mickey Duncan from Newcastle, wearing the red trunks on the right. Makes a change to see two British fighters at this level opposing each other. Hunnigan, of course, now getting on a bit. He's 32 and he's 10 years older than Duncan. And he's three and a half pounds heavier. Hunnigan now 11 stone four. He used to come in at 10 stone seven when he was world champion. Now he's 11 stone four. Although his manager, Mickey Duff, tells me that he can make 11 stone comfortably. And by the look of his waist, I should think he probably can. He's carrying a bit of extra weight at the midriff. But Hunnigan, still a very formidable opponent. And particularly for Duncan, who's got this unexpected chance to make a name for himself tonight. But he comes in at only 36 hours notice. He's the third opponent for this fight. The previous two were ruled out. But here we have Duncan, a British fighter who's never hit the headlines against a British fighter who at one time was certainly the best man that we had at any weight. Hunnigan's 42nd professional fight tonight. 38 wins behind him. And it'll be a major surprise if he doesn't make it 39. Duncan not able to cope with the punches coming at him inside. He doesn't know enough about the inside work to cope with that. And considerably roughed up in that exchange. And again, the uppercuts are particularly damaging. Duncan's face already looking the worse for wear. And that's all come about through this mauling inside. Hannigan's pretty good at that. One low one there from Hunnigan. Duncan complains. Larry O'Connell's the referee who's got to sort it up. And he's giving Duncan a few seconds to recover. So 32-year-old Lloyd Hunnigan, the Bermondsey battler, goes back to his corner in fight number 42 former undisputed welterweight champion of the world between 1986 and 89. Just one brief hiccup when he lost the world title to Jorge Vaca of Mexico on a technical decision. Uh, he then got it back by beating Vaca five months later. Lloyd Hunnigan. There's a little bit of the stuff from the first round with Hunnigan working pretty well with that uh, left uppercut. And... Uh, Duncan was looking a bit worse for wear when he came out of that first round. Corners, 10 seconds. Seconds up. Round two. Duncan of Newcastle, 22 years old, wearing the red trunks. Only 10 wins in 25 professional fights. And he's never won a fight inside the distance. So Mickey Duff, the manager of Hannigan, not taking too many chances by accepting Duncan. Hannigan wearing that familiar legend on his trunks, Ragamuffin. last fight was the night of Frank Bruno and Jose Ribalta at Wembley. 
on April the 22nd. And that was Hunnigan's first fight for almost a year. He started his comeback last year, and he had three wins early last year, and then he... Then he had some time off while he produced some rock records. He's got a stable of up-and-coming pop stars. I don't quite know how far this is going to go. I think Hannigan knows far too much for Duncan. And uh, I suppose it's a question of how much practice Hannigan wants. one of the, the great wins in British boxing history, the night he beat Don Curry in America. Curry at that time was accepted as the best fighter in the world, pound for pound, and Hannigan took him apart in six rounds. And that was the best British performance all for 30, 35 years. Good right from Duncan. Lloyd won't like that, and he came back immediately. Duncan paid for it. He caught Hunting with a really good right hand, and Lloyd said, you're not doing that to me. And suddenly, Duncan was on the floor for a count of nine in the second round. He paid for that. Good left hook right on the bell, and Duncan's out on his feet. He's just about made his way back to the corner. Only just, and Larry O'Connell is, I think, going to stop it. He's had enough. Mr. O'Connell, the referee, says, no. I saw the state you were in when you went back to the corner. So Lloyd Hunnigan, who I think was momentarily hurt by right hand, he suddenly opened up at full pressure, and equally suddenly, the fight was all over. So that's uh, win number 39 out of 42 for the former World World Away champion, Lloyd Hunnigan. This is the way it finished. That was the right hand, and I oh, think that upset please. Hunnigan. He said, oh, you should have to me or pay for it, and pay for it. Duncan most the certainly did. Has stopped the contest. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, That wasn't Lloyd a Hunnigan. knockout punch, but the one that came afterwards at the end of the round brought about the stoppage. And gentlemen, your appreciation, please, for the loser, Mickey Duncan. That was some left hand. That was right on the bell. And Duncan only just about made it to his corner, and the referee saw the state he was in, and immediately called a halt. <laughs>